So let's talk about the three different driving modes in the RAV4, at least in mine. I've got the RAV4, it's a 2024 XLE. And if you notice right down here, it's got these three different modes, Eco, Normal, and Sport. And I'm curious to see if I notice any difference at all when driving the car when I switch the mode. Now, before we get started, I'm going to let you guys know what the manual says they're for. And then we're going to see if uh, Toyota is true to their word and we actually can tell a difference. All right, I've got the manual opened up. It's page uh, 310 if you happen to have the same manual I have. It says here, driving mode select switch, which I already showed you right over there. It says the driving modes can be selected to suit the driving, the driving and usage conditions. And then it tells you how to select them. You push the button, obviously. So, eco drive mode. Suitable for driving to improve fuel economy by more smoothly generating torque in response to accelerator pedal operations compared to normal mode and restraining air conditioning system operations, heating and cooling. When the switch is pressed, while not in eco mode, the system switches to eco mode and the eco drive mode indicator illuminates on the multi information display. So right up here. Let's go ahead and hit the button and see if anything happens. It did. You can see in the screen there. Let me uh, check my, my display and see what you can see. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if we're being washed out by the light. I hope not. Um, but that's eco mode. And then we go to normal. And apparently it just shows nothing on the screen. And then we go to sport. And it changes to this red uh, theme, I guess. So we're going to go to just uh, eco for when we start out. And it's in green, by the way. Next up, it has normal mode, suitable for normal driving. The driving mode returns to normal mode if the switch is pressed while in eco mode or sport mode. Lastly, sport mode controls the steering feeling and engine to create an acceleration response that is suitable for sporty driving. That's going to be interesting to see. Suitable for when crisp handling is desired, such as when driving on mountain roads. When the switch is pressed while not in sport mode, the system switches to sport mode and sport mode indicator illuminates on the multi-information display. I'd call that the gauge cluster, but you know. Now, what else do we have here? It says when the driving mode is, uh, let's see, when the driving mode is changed, the background color of the multi-information display changes. We know that. When the speedometer is set to the analog display, which we do not have right now, the speedometer display change, uh, color also changes. Air conditioning system operation in eco drive mode. In eco drive mode, heating and cooling operations and the fan speed is controlled to improve fuel efficiency. Canceling a driving mode. Sport mode is automatically canceled and driving mode returns to normal when the engine switch is turned off. So when we turn the car or the SUV off, uh, it goes back to normal mode. Normal mode and eco drive mode are not canceled until another driving mode is selected, even if the engine switch is turned off. Normal mode and eco drive mode will not be automatically canceled. So if you switch to uh, normal or eco mode, the RAV4 is going to stay in those when you restart. You'd have to manually change it. But when you go to sport and turn the vehicle off, it's going to actually revert back to normal mode, I guess. So, okay, we're on the road, we're just driving, and right now on the screen, and I believe we're in just normal mode, but there is an eco icon on here. Not sure why we have that, uh, even though we're supposedly in normal mode, but I guess eco is part of normal mode. So we're gonna go ahead and switch, and I will do this at a higher speed too, by the way. But we're going to go to eco mode. And I definitely felt that. It felt like the RAV4 kind of throttled down a little bit. Like something robbed it of its power. Um, I guess great if you're trying to be like a hyper miler or something. If you really want to try to get the best fuel economy that you can. Uh, and I also noticed the air conditioning kind of get a little bit weaker so it definitely affects the HVAC system as well as the power of the RAV4 itself 
Now, we're going to make this next turn, and I'm going to go back to sport mode because I'm curious to see uh, if we notice anything in normal mode, I should say. All right, let's go ahead and hit uh, normal mode now. And right away, you could see the eco mode disappear on the screen. Now it's popped back up. I don't know why. It must be part of standard normal mode. Uh, but I do feel more responsiveness, more throttle. Uh, goes a little bit quicker than it did in, uh, in eco mode. And I do feel the air conditioner stronger now as well. So it appears that uh, everything is normal, I guess. Now we're going to go ahead and go to sport mode. Let's see if we can feel that. Again, at lower speeds, we're traveling about 20 miles an hour or so. <laughs> Almost felt like it downshifted and the steering wheel got stiffer. Uh, that's why I wanted to do it in a turn. I definitely could feel the steering wheel get uh, stiffer than it was before. And hopefully you can see maybe it says sport on the screen. Let's take a turn and see what that feels like. All right, definitely uh, a firmer steering wheel, that's for sure, as you would expect in sport mode. Now, as far as power goes, it does feel like it's accelerating a bit quicker than it did before. I'm gonna drop back down to normal real quick. Now back to sport. Yeah, you definitely feel a little bit more responsiveness uh, once you have the sport mode engaged. Now, we're going to go to normal mode here. We're going to take a turn, and I'm going to get on a 55-mile-an-hour uh, road. Let's go ahead and hit this. And then I want to run through them again to see if at speed I notice any kind of a difference when I go to the different modes. So... Let me get up to 55 here. We should be there in a second. There we are. Well, not, not a second, but we're at about 55-ish. Let's go to eco mode. Definitely took something away from the engine. Uh, I did feel it kick down just a little bit. Again, like it's kind of being robbed of its power. The air conditioning dropped. Don't know that it's a big deal. Maybe if you're on the freeway or something, just kind of cruising, eco mode might not be bad to be in. I don't know if it makes a big difference when you're at 55 plus anyway. We're actually at 61 now. Let's go ahead and go to normal mode. Didn't feel a big difference there, really. Maybe heard a little bit of difference. Hard to tell on this noisy road. Um, but maybe a little bit, a little bit of difference in speed. Now, let's go ahead and kick it down or up to sport. Definitely felt it kind of kick down a little bit, if you will. And I could feel it in the steering. The steering is, again, uh, much tighter than it is when you're in normal or eco mode. So it does make a difference. Now, does it turn the RAV4 into some kind of a race car? Well, obviously not because it's not a race car, but you certainly can feel the difference. And I think I like sport mode the best because it gives me that tighter feeling, different kind of control over the RAV4 and just feels like a bit more fun to drive. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of run through these buttons for you guys and myself, see what they feel like. It is interesting, I think, to experiment with them. So if you have the RAV4 and you've never run through those buttons, give them a try. See if you experience the same thing that I did and that Eco is the most sluggish. Normal is just that, normal. And then Sport gives you a little bit of oomph when you're driving around. Leave a comment if you've done it. I'd be curious to know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.